So here is my finished arrangement for the system for 10 gigahertz receive only system using an LNB which will be on a dish up on the tower and feeding um, DC power 25 megahertz uh, LO reference frequency and 618 megahertz IF over a single coax. Uh, the subtitle of this video probably ought to be how to take something very simple and make it excessively complicated. If you did not insist on GPS locking the LNB for the ultimate in frequency accuracy and stability, here's all you'd need. You'd need an SDR receiver, a power inserter, and a power supply in the station, and the LNB on the dish uh, up at the tower, and that's it. Very simple. Uh, because I insisted on GPS locking things, however, I ended up with this here. Uh, so I've got the... Uh, 25 megahertz GPS TO, a bandpass filter to clean up the square wave and make it a sine wave because I discovered the LNB does not want to lock to a square wave, uh, a pair of modified uh, triplexers to combine the uh, DC 25 megahertz and 618 and then to split them off again, a high pass filter to keep 25 megahertz out of the SDR, and the SDR of course a power supply uh, 12 volts for horizontal polarization on the LNB, I mean 12 volts for vertical polarization on the LNB, and 16 volts for horizontal. Up at the tower, coming out of the other triplexer, a high pass filter to keep 25 megahertz off the, um, out of the um, IF port of the uh, LNB ultimately. A uh, power inserter to recombine the DC and the 618 megahertz, which got split up at the uh, at the triplexer, but they need to be recombined to go to the IF port of the LNB, and of course the 25 megahertz directly into the LNB. So a complicated system because I only have one coax going up, and I need to feed all three signals DC, 25 megahertz, and 618 megahertz over that. And I wanted to keep the 25 megahertz uh, levels um, down at the uh, receiver and at the IF port of the LNB, so I added some filtering and things necessary to do that. Uh, so, um, ultimately, uh, some measurements on the system. The insertion loss with the uh, two triplexers at 618 megahertz is about 4 dB. There'll be another 4 or 5 or 6 dB of feed line loss in my long 370 foot uh, feed line going up to the tower. Not an issue because the, uh, the LNB has so much gain it can overcome these losses easily and, uh, and much more. Uh, this was a concern to me for a while. The 25 megahertz insertion loss because the triplexes were designed for 10 megahertz. Going through a pair of them there's about 3.6 dB of loss there. I was concerned that that, along with about 2 dB more uh, feed line loss going up the tower, uh, might be an issue and might knock the 25 megahertz down to a level where the LNB would not want to lock to it, and uh, more on that in a moment. Um, so I made some measurements on the uh, 25 megahertz levels uh, coming out of the uh, filter uh, that cleans up the square wave from the... Uh, GPSDO to a sine wave. With the GPSDO at its lowest uh, uh, power setting of 8 milliamp uh, drive level, I had plus 6 dBm. Now I knew that the uh, LNB will lock to plus 6 dBm because I had run that test before. And at the highest drive level of 32 milliamps, I had plus 11 dBm. So uh, I knew it would lock to plus 6. I didn't know if it would lock any lower than that. And we'll get back to that again uh, here in a moment. So the 25 megahertz level measured at the uh, SDR receiver is minus 120 dBm. So that's way down there. Uh, 25 megahertz measured at the LNB uh, IF port is minus 95 dBm. So that's pretty well down. No uh, concerns with that. And the 25 megahertz measured at the... Uh, LNB reference port is plus 5 dBm on the bench, but that's with no feed line loss in between. Uh, there's going to be 2 or two or 3 dB of feed line loss, uh, at least 2 dB, so that's going to be like plus 3 dBm, maybe even a little bit lower 
And I knew it would lock at plus six. I didn't know if it would lock at uh, any lower, uh, plus three, about what I'll end up with. So in order to check that, uh, here on the bench, I put a uh, 6 dB attenuator in line to uh, just knock the 25 megahertz down another 6 dB. So basically that takes it to, uh, to about 0 dBm at the LNB, and it's still locking up fine, as we'll see here in a minute. It's, it's working. So I think I've got a workable system here. I'll show you a demonstration of it working on the bench, and uh, then I'll get busy... Uh, putting things into a form where I can get the uh, dish and LNB up on the tower and actually have a a working 10 gigahertz receive system for uh, for receiving terrestrial signals. So here's a bench test of the 10 gig receiving system. Um, I'm using a battery here for the uh, power supply uh, and there's a little 5 volt regulator in this little uh, unit here to power the uh, the GPSDO and uh, 12 volt power directly into the uh, uh, first triplexer to power the uh, LNB. So GPSDO, bandpass filter, uh, 6 dB attenuator to simulate uh, some additional uh, feed line loss. Uh, I had to put it on the input side rather than on the feed line side because I don't think uh, I can feed DC through, I'm sure I can't feed DC through the uh, 6 dB attenuator, so I put it over here. But this simulates uh, feed line loss, and there won't be more than 3 dB at most, and I've got 6 dB here, so uh, that gets the yellow level down to uh, to where I'm sure that uh, it's going to be okay with the uh, feed line loss uh, going up to the tower. Uh, that the LNB will still lock to it. So the first uh, triplexer, uh, a uh, 400 megahertz uh, high pass filter to keep 25 megahertz out of the uh, SDR over here. Uh, this co black uh, coax here would represent the uh, feed line going up to the tower. It would be actually be 370 feet of uh, large diameter cable, uh, cable TV hard line mostly running up there, but. Just uh, this little uh, test piece uh, to connect everything up here in the shack. Uh, so everything uh, uh, behind the pencil here, uh, everything back there would be uh, down in the station in the shack. And everything on this side of it, in front of it, would be uh, up on the tower. So the other triplexer, another high pass filter to keep 25 megahertz out of the uh, UHF. Uh, the 25 megahertz uh, LO reference coming out and going into the uh, to the reference input on the LNB, the uh, power inserter to recombine uh, DC and uh, 618 megahertz to go to the uh, IF and DC port uh, on the LNB. And I just used whatever I had for cables. There's certainly no reason to use these. Uh, mini hardline uh, cables here uh, for connecting uh, DC, certainly not for connecting DC or for connecting uh, UHF at 618 megahertz but this is use whatever I had uh, so you know I uh, can't afford to buy stuff if I don't need to so that's what I had and so I used it so I have a little uh, 10 gigahertz uh, mini beacon running out in the shed about 200 feet away and running into a uh, dummy load and uh, I'll show you here on the on the SDR. First of all, um, as I said, there's plenty of gain in the uh, in the LNBs to overcome the feed line loss. Let me turn the LNB off uh, for a minute. I'll just kill power to it. And see, my noise floor on the SDR with the RF gain set uh, where I have it right now is about uh, well, somewhere around minus 130 dBm or a bit lower. When I turn the LNB on, it has so much gain that, uh, you know, it's bringing that up to minus 105 dB or so. So, uh, you know, there's just so much gain there that losses uh, in the feed line and in the uh, triplexers is, is not going to hurt anything uh, at all. Uh, so, I've got the little beacon running out in the, uh, in the shed here, a couple hundred feet away, into a dummy load. It's like a five uh, milliwatt beacon. 
So I'll just turn up the volume a little bit so you can uh, hear it. And I'll keep quiet here when it starts sending again. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, it appears to be a, uh, a working system, so I just need to make up proper cables uh, long enough to go from the LNB at the dish down to a, a box at the top of the tower. You know, the, uh, the LNB and dish will be uh, like 8 or eight or 10 feet up a mast above the top of the tower, so I need to make up proper cables to come down to a box where... Uh, where all of this stuff here, um, power inserter and filter and uh, triplexer and so on will be mounted. And get a, uh, a good weather day. We've had three weeks of uh, mostly rain here, but get those cables made and get a good weather day to get that up on the tower. And uh, transfer the rest of this stuff over to the shack and uh, and get software configured on the uh, computer over he over there and and I should have a uh, a 10 gig uh, terrestrial receiving system uh, up and running so I'm certainly looking forward to that uh, it will be nice to uh, to finally have a uh, 10 gig terrestrial receiving capability to play with <laughs>